Hi guys, this tutorial is on how to natively integrate Google Analytics version 3 within an iOS application and I'll be using Xcode 5. So first I'll open Safari and we'll type um, just analytics in Google and this first link here Okay, if you have a Google Analytics account, just log in. Otherwise, create an account. Okay, loading, and then we go to admin. Under accounts, we go create a new account. Now, our new account is going to be for an app and that's for an iOS app, all Android app use the same tab and we go, I'm gonna call this account in my app, I'm gonna call it my demo app and I'm gonna use the same name for the account name and you can play with this um, information that you su uh, submit to Google we go track get tracking ID, accept the policy and success we have a tracking ID issued by Google this one here alright now once you do that you can download the SDK for Google Analytics for iOS just in here just here or this one here is for the SDK including implementation for AdMob for ads adverti advertising if you want to incorporate that within the app with the tracking uh, now I've already downloaded that so I'm gonna leave that here we'll open a new tab and here we're gonna go to uh, we're just gonna type Google Analytics iOS and first link here that we get is going to tell us that take us straight to the screen where again you can download the same package that we had before you can download it from here there's a second alternative and but with this is what we're after here read um, get started guide which I've already read this that's why I made a tutorial so guys open this up and it's so much easier to just copy and paste a few things that uh, Google gives us so first we're going to create a create an app. You probably already have one, so that's why you're here, and we're gonna have to import all these header files in the library to our project. Um, so from the package that we downloaded. After that we're gonna add these libraries to our project and that's a few more things to do. So let's get started. I'm going to put this on a side. And we'll open Xcode. This is my the package. This is how it looks like once you download it. Uh, Xcode. We start a new <coughs> start a new project. it a bit so it fits on the screen all right um, for this tutorial I'll use a tabbed application and I'll call it my demo app next yes for this video I'll save it on the desktop And here we are. The project is built. Next. I'm going to change this target to 6.0. So it goes to 6.0 and above. Alright, now I'm going to select these supporting files and we're going to add those header files to our project. 
add files to my demo app. From here, we go to desktop, and on the desktop, we have our package. Alright, so all these header files we're going to highlight or select, and also this one. Also this one too. So that's all what we need to import. The GAI the hey, GI the dictionary builder, GAI fields, logger, tracking view controller, and tracker. We've got seven files here. And we're gonna tick this box here. So we copy the items from the folder that we downloaded onto our uh, into our app supporting files. So then we can delete the folder that we downloaded from Google and we won't have any issues with um, things disappearing. So that's it, we go add and here we've got all the files that are here. Next we're gonna go on to my demo app, we'll select this target here and as you can see Google already, um, Xcode 5 already added this library here but we need a few more libraries for this project. So we need core data framework. Okay, and whoops. And also system configuration framework. And one last thing that we need is libs, libs dot dy, the last one, dy lib. We add that to the project and we're cool with that. So that's all we need to import and that's all the frameworks that we need to add to our project. Next we're going to go to appdelegate.m here right under this import will import GAI GAI dot H and while we're here I'm gonna bring the Safari back here we need okay we go to that's what we've done we've done we added header files to the project we added the libraries, the frameworks and some libraries to the project and now we're going to add these bits here under did finish launching with options we'll move that on the side so here we are, we're under the app delegate this is the M file under did finish launching with options we just before the return we can paste this uh, lines that Google gave us. Now as you can notice we have a little warning just that this tracker hasn't been, this variable tracker hasn't been used yet so to get rid of that we're just going to type GAI shared instance dot default tracker equal tracker and we get rid of that warning next we're gonna go to that's all what we need to do with well actually we'll let's do it now we'll bring we'll up we'll change this to our actual ID that we got from Google which was just here And we're finishing with the app delegate implementation. Okay, we'll save that. App delegate done. Next, we're going to go to the storyboard quickly. So here we've got 
we've got the tabbed application, we've got two view controllers, first view, second view. Just to be a bit more visible to make to make a to make a bit more sense. We're just gonna make this one red. And we'll call it Red view. And the second one here, <coughs> we're going to make it blue and we'll call it blue view. Blue view, okay. Alright, so we've got the red view and the blue view. Um, so the first view controller, that's the, the red view. Now, into first view control class, the, the dot .h file, we have to import GAI track view controller dot .h, GAI track view controller dot .h, and we have to change at the moment first view control extends UI view UI view controller. We're gonna copy that bit there. Uh, GI track view controller and we're gonna change the so it extends the GI track view controller instead of view control UI view controller. That's all we need to do on this header file. We'll do the same for the second view controller. We're gonna go whoopee. Import the header file, and we're going to make it so it extends. We're just going to do the same thing to this one. All right, done with the header files. Next, in the first view control, the M. Now, uh, Google suggests us to put it under view did appear but if you have a project to be more involved it, it just for some reason it, it was working just every second time it, it just wasn't working properly putting it under view did appear um, so I just put it under view did load and it just worked like a charm so um, you might want to put it under view did load or it's your choice but this is where I know it's under, under view did load under super view did load we're going to put self dot screen name equals um, the string which we're going to call this view we're going to call this is the first view control so we made the first view control red so we're going to call it red screen you can call yours however you like um, to identify which controller is the visitor is uh, onto. Copy that. We go to second view controller M. We do the same thing. Just going to paste it here, and we'll change this one is the second view controller. It's actually the blue screen. And guys, we're done with the implementation. That's all we needed to do. Um, I'm going to quickly bring this one here, customize it a bit, so we can get to to see um, what we're doing so we should hmm. well okay come on all mobile data all right so we go under real real time screens and screen views last 30 minutes now we can hide this sidebar and we'll make this a bit smaller okay 
to build and run build started so it should open onto the red screen and as soon as it opens in within three seconds we should get this hit coming up here showing us that someone's on the red screen who might it be? I don't know a user and here we are, a red screen and well three seconds after the here we go that's one hit and updates to right now one visitor and red screen tells us someone's on the red screen hello version 1.0 uh, that's the version of the app so we go on to the second screen which is the blue screen we should then see another hit coming up here we go and should add a blue screen here so someone's on the blue screen and we go someone's on the red someone's on the blue the user went to red the user went to blue and red blue red blue someone's playing games with my app leave it alone so that's there we go that shows us all the data pick, 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 pick. yep that's it that's all folks hope you like this tutorial and good luck tracking what everyone does on your app and yeah thanks guys